We needed new school. We needed it three years ago. Parents spoke out at Tuesday night's special Board of Education meeting addressing the overcrowding issue in the city's schools. Superintendent Winnie Hamilton presented a plan to help solve the problem, which involves adding seats to the magnet schools. I'm adding two kindergarten classes to Westover in my plan, one kindergarten class to Toquam and one kindergarten class to uh, Hart. Okay. and uh, opening 75 spots at Schofield and uh, up to 100 spots at Ripawam. According to Hamilton's report, 8 to 12 of the elementary schools are at or above 95 percent capacity and four of the schools are over 100 percent. Hamilton says preference for the new magnet spots would be given to students in the overpopulated schools. My summarized plan is to really give parents choice to handle a tricky situation for one year around enrollment while we uh, come up with a long-term solution. That long-term plan involves building a new magnet school to house grades K through 8. But Mayor David Martin says a new school doesn't seem necessary based on enrollment projections. Many parents at the meeting disagreed. To sit there and say, oh, we got to think about this enrollment. Mr. Martin, I invite you to come down to heart. In the past three years, Springdale has gone from 525 students to 710. You have to stop putting up the 92.8% number about our capacity. We're over 100% capacity. We lost an art room. All three of our music teachers are in the auditorium sharing space. We have uh, lunch in the gym. To what the mayor said, just because you can make something work doesn't mean you should have to live with it forever. Parents also voiced concerns about additional students impacting the integrity of the magnet programs. They say this may push the schools past their limits. They're going to have to take the kids. They're going to have to deal with it and we're going to make it work. The PTO is going to make it work, but is it desirable? No, it's not. By asking us to increase enrollment, we need additional positions to both support the arts and to support, support our teaching practices. The plan will be addressed again at the next Board of Ed meeting in January. To see Dr. Hamilton's full report, visit StanfordPublicSchools.org.